everybody. Uh, my name is Arik Stillman, and I'm the CEO and one of the co-founders of Rapid. Uh, Rapid actually is a fintech as a service platform, or if you want to try and you know simplify it, we are a type of Amazon AWS for fintech, which is a platform that provides a full-blown API that allows other companies to build on top of us a lot of different type of applications. Uh, and you know, I'm actually standing here by mistake. I'm actually a cloud computing guy had no clue about anything that is related to payments or fintech up until four years ago. I had a cloud computing company that I sold, got bored, and made a mistake by trying to go into the payment space without any knowledge. And you know, myself together with my co-founders, we wanted to build some kind of a cool uh, consumer-facing e-wallet. No clue about payments and fintech and stumbled into every single potential problem that exists on planet Earth uh, when you're trying to build a financial-related application. You know, when you know, we were shocked about the fact that how many things you actually need to do in order to build some kind of a solution that is inside the space. Getting regulated, you know, building your own ledgers, doing KYC, AML, moving money in, moving money out. And the shocking thing for us was the fact that in fintech or in finance, there are no platforms. Everybody is rebuilding everything from scratch. Everybody is reinventing the wheel. And you know, in, in the cloud computing space, you go to AWS, you go to Google Compute Cloud, you go to Azure, you get a lot of services and capabilities, but in FinTech, people keep rebuilding everything from scratch again and again. And if you look at the evolution of, uh, of what cloud computing went through, cloud computing went through several phases. In the past, everybody had their own data centers, so they were managing their own servers. Then came a situation that people started to basically take their servers and move it to other people's data center and put their servers in the cloud. And today, you know, after a very long time period, we have now full cloud computing capabilities, which means server hosting is just one of them, but you have networking equipment, firewalls, queues, file systems. And basically today when somebody wants to build something, nobody is building anything from scratch. They're going to either AWS, Google, or Microsoft and building on top of them these different type of capabilities. And you know, myself and my co-founders were shocked that in FinTech, every time everything is from scratch. Now, not only with the fact that it is from scratch, we were amazed of how complicated it is globally. The infrastructure in the US is different than the UK, which is different than other parts of Europe, which is completely different from Asia and Latin America. And when you look at all these businesses that exist today, big gig economy platforms, large-scale e-commerce websites, and basically almost any type of company today in the world, they need to operate globally. And when you need to operate globally and you need to do financial-related services globally, collecting a payment, disbursing a payment, storing funds in custody, every country has its own trick, and basically scaling a business this way is mission impossible. And what we've seen over the last several years is basically that fintech is going through the same evolution like cloud computing. In the past, everybody had their own stuff. Later on, companies such as Stripe arrived and started to build features and capabilities and products on top of platforms that exist in the cloud and actually offer payment as a service capabilities and simplify the payment space. And what we see that from an evolution perspective, everything is moving to what we call PaaS or payments as a service or cloud computing uh, that powers fintech as a service capabilities. And basically, payments is only one element of fintech, but there are a lot of other things that you need to do. You need to be able to disburse money. You need to be able to store money in custody, do KYC, AML checks, uh, issue cards, do loyalty programs on top of e-wallet. So a zillion different capabilities, and all of them are moving into single platforms that will actually be able to provide you these capabilities with a single connectivity. Now, this image actually shows you how the world looks without Rapid. Every company, which is represented here as the merchant, that wants to build something, and if they want to build it globally, they have to create this spaghetti code. They need to connect to different banks, different payment providers, different compliance uh, services for every single country that they want to operate in. So suddenly, when you're trying to build something that is more than collecting a payment from a credit card or a debit card, if you actually want to build some kind of an application that does more sophisticated stuff, even if you're just building a, an e-commerce marketplace or you're a ride-hailing company that need to provide your uh, consumers the capability to pay for a ride, you suddenly find yourself in a situation that you need to do all these connections. And this is super complicated to build on a global scale. 
Now, Global is something very big, and Rappi just released today a, a new survey with the state of the e-commerce, uh, of the global e-commerce uh, cross-border survey, which is on our website. And what you see is that most merchants see their growth, especially U.S. merchants see their growth from international business. And, you know, this is super complicated to achieve when you're trying to build it on your own. And what Rapid provides is actually a single connection for all our merchants that allow them to remove the complexity behind the scenes that we're already connected to. So when somebody wants to build an application in Indonesia, Argentina, the U.S., or the U.K., they can actually come to Rapid, connect to a single API that provide them all these capabilities without actually being able to handle all the heavy lifting behind the scenes of regulations, AML, compliance, integrations to payment networks or payout networks. Now, Rapid identified a stack of what we call fintech as a service capabilities, and it's much more than collecting a payment. So what you can see behind me is actually the stack of the capabilities. So yes, funds collection or payments is one of them, but not only cards. Cards is very nice, but the world is running much more than just cards. You need to be able to collect money in cash, in e local e-wallets and a lot of other elements. In the same way, you want to basically do funds disbursement and actually push money into the hands of people or businesses. Bank transfers, cash pickups, anywhere that uh, somebody might want to get paid. You need to be able to run multi-currency accounts, FX in real time, hedging. You want to be able to store money in custody inside the e-wallets. You want to be able to KYC the e-wallet owners. You want to be able to provide card issuing on top of the e-wallet and a lot of different capabilities. And what Rapid actually provides is a single onboarding, a single API that is seamless across the entire world and basically provides other companies the ability to build very sophisticated financial services or fintech related uh, services on top of us and we serve customers you know from a lot of different uh, uh, scales we actually give them access to more than four billion people with a single connection and it doesn't matter if you're a very large e-commerce website or a very large ride hailing company or even a neobank riding on top of rapid as an infrastructure is actually what allows them to scale and this is our business thank you very much